Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV Balloon Basics. As you can see, we're joined by Dr. Bob. Hello. Hello. And today, Dr. Bob is going to show us how to put five inch balloons inside a 24 inch Qualitex bubble. Dr. Bob, over to you. Okay, here we are. We have the Qualitex 24 inch deco bubble. We'll take it out. There we go. And open him up. No obvious holes in that. So what we're going to do is take a balloon stick or an implement and then insert these into the balloon. So that could be a balloon stick, it could be a straw, people use different things. You yep. use something that's made out of an old umbrella. That's right. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the trigger valve with my finger underneath so it doesn't inflate too fast. So you don't put any helium in the bubble no, to start some, with? some people do. I don't. But you don't. There's different ways of doing it, you know. Um, I suppose it's more important if you're doing a latex balloon. So we've done these with 36 inch clear latex. Yeah. And of course that just keeps contracting and going down. So you need That's to right, keep inflating it. That's right, because you're losing the air it. as you go in. Yeah. You can't get a tighter seal on it. So you need to keep inflating it yeah. in order to keep fitting the balloons in there. That's so right. And you can expel all the air afterwards then, yeah. can't you? But these, no, you don't need to. Okay. You can inflate it um, with helium. And it, this will inflate with all the balloons inside without having to put helium in there. OK. OK. All of them? All 12? All 12. Do you always put 12 in? Yes, I do. Um, some people put less. I, I think it's, it's nice because it just comes just under halfway. And it's got enough uh, float. Uh, time in it as well because I'm taking these off I think it looks much neater and it's extra weight as you yeah yeah you want to reduce the weight as much as you possibly can that's right so this isn't looking that difficult no but then I've had a lot of practice okay so you're making it look easy it is easy actually would you like to have a go Greg no that's always going to be my answer, no matter no, what you ask me. Because no matter how easy something looks, it would be very difficult for me. That's why I stand here and get other people to stand there. All right, that's cool. So what happens if you, you've got your, your trigger valve, which is yeah. great, you've got a lot of control. Mm -hmm. And then you, you said earlier on how you dropped the trigger valve once. Yeah. And that was it, you couldn't use it. So what do you do in that situation? Can you use just a normal valve? You, yeah, you can use a um, push, push fit valve. Um, do you want me to show you? Yeah, okay. yeah. We've got one on this one here, so yeah. I'll uh, give it a go on that one. I mean, the trigger valve is great for control, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. But I say sometimes, like it's happened to me in the past, I um, busted the, the trigger valve, so you've got to work without it so you've got to be able to adapt yourself to everything yeah so one of my favorite colors purple is it yeah so we'll give that one now and put on here um with this let's move that out the way so there we have but, uh and now these can be quite fierce so it's yeah, they can. all about holding and keeping control of the the valve as you're inflating and i keep my thumb and finger on the end there as well as I inflate. So it's about pushing it. Pu Getting trying the pressure to, right, yeah. Trying not to push too hard. There we go. Because they inflate so quickly. Now, the reason why I didn't, because I still got my thumb and finger on there. Yeah. That's a bit scarier, I feel. It is, yeah, it but way. it can be done. I prefer it so it's up, so I'm pressing down rather than yeah, sideways. Yeah, so you could adjust on. that and that could be pointing upwards. Yeah. So. Yeah, because it's much easier because you've got more control then. Yeah. All right, so it looks like you're going to do that another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. I think we've done enough, don't you? I think we need to do the clicky finger thing. Let's okay. do the clicky. Ready? Ben, one, two, two three. three. Hey, and we're back. Back. Okay, so those have magically gone in there, but you've still got one left. So one what left. are we going to do with that one? So we're going to stick that one in now. Number 12. Yeah. There we go. 
Now what I'm going to do is bypass that last one. Yeah. Make sure I can get hold of him on the end there. He's snuck back inside. There we are. And inflate the balloon. So when you inflate the bubble, you do that with helium as well. Yeah. Because you never mix gases, do you? No. Hey, that looks pretty. We got the roller ball. We got the rollover. <laughs> and then we're going to inflate the inside one. Oops. My hand is twisted around where it's been inflating. There you go. Make sure we haven't lost any. We've lost a little tiny bit. So you're going to tie that with a 260Q now? No, nope. I'm going to use the plume that's inside. Oh, right, okay. There we are. Roll it round and tie it. There we are. And I'll show off and I'll tie it another time. Can you do three times? Three times we go. I bet you can't do four. Well, I don't know. Might be stretching it a bit. Yeah. <laughs> stretching it, yeah. Funny, funny. Let's try you know, it. You don't have to accept the challenge. Oh. Oh, he is accepting the challenge. You can witness it. There yes. You go. Done. Well done. There so we that's going to keep it sealed as well as yep. doing the 260Q method. Yeah. Um, put the ribbon around there. That would be enough. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there's still plenty of lift in that. That's even with all those. Tw wow. Lots of lift. You are. Awesome. Here we so go. there you go. How to, and these are called, what do you call well, them? People got different names from, but it's the termed off the old fashioned gumball machine. Gumball, that's it. So there you go. That is how to create a gumball bubble. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>